Hi, everyone. Welcome. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Becky Setledge, and I'm the 4-H agent for East Hawaii. And I am also the 4-H livestock agent for Hawaii County. So I'm really glad to have you guys here today. As you can see, today we're going to introduce to you our uh, new junior, senior record books. Okay. So before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and minimize myself just so you guys can see this full screen. And um, before we jump directly into the record books, one of the first things I wanted to do was uh, have you guys think about why we have you guys keep records. Okay. So, so why is it that uh, we have 4-Hers keep records? Well, we have 4-Hers keep records for a number of reasons. First, we have you keep records so that you can measure the progress of your project or projects. We also have you keep records so that you can identify expenses and financial gains for your projects. Keeping records is a, a great way to evaluate project growth and develop a plan of action for further growth and future project work. And it's great to refer to when you're filling out applications for out of county educational events or when you're applying for scholarships or things like awards. You're going to find that uh, these records will come in handy for a lot of different situations. Okay, so let's kind of look at what we learn from keeping records. So when you keep records, you're going to learn how to plan and organize your work. You're going to learn to budget uh, your project and other financial needs. You'll also learn how to improve written communication skills and also learn to pay attention to detail, follow directions and meet deadlines. As well, you're going to learn to make decisions and set priorities. Here's some tips for keeping good records. First, you should keep everything in one place. You can uh, keep your important papers and receipts in, in either a large envelope, um, a shoe box, file folder, expandable folders work well, or you can keep everything in one drawer in a desk. It's uh, also uh, a good idea for members to save their score sheets each year after their record book has been evaluated because these score sheets contain special information that will be helpful to show you how you've grown in your project and where you need to improve for the next year if you continue with the 4-H program. And you'll also want to keep a diary or a journal of records of meeting, uh, activities, special events, trips, any purchases that you might have made. Um, you're going to find that the uh, diary or journal uh, can be something you can refer back to uh, when you're writing your 4-H story or for helping you to complete summary sheets, inventory records, income and expenditure reports, and breeding records. So um, you might be thinking too, how or what can I do to increase my chances of getting a blue ribbon record book? Well, most important um, I feel is that you need to pay attention to detail, okay? So did you have your signatures on your record book cover? These are sometimes overlooked, but they're very important, as we'll see here in just a little bit. Is your record book clean and presentable? As funny as it may sound, did you complete your record book? Did you use NA, draw a line, or write does not apply in the areas that did not apply to you? And did you put some thought into your project summary and story pages? All of these things that I've mentioned uh, could make a difference between either getting a blue or red ribbon on your record book. So remember to think about these things. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a look now at the new junior senior record book. Okay, and um, some of the slides can be a little bit hard to read. So it's best if you have a junior or senior record book handy with you to kind of follow along. But if you didn't have one or you don't have one, where could you get one? 
or say that maybe you lost your record book or misplaced it or the dog ate it, you know, wh where would you get a record book? Well, first off, and I don't have a slide for this, so that's why we're staying in this slide, but the State 4-H office has told us that starting February 1st, uh, everyone should be able to do their record books electronically through Z Suite. And Z Suite is an online platform um, that we use to enroll you guys this year. Okay, something new uh, this year is, is that this uh, uh, Z Suite has a function that allows you to complete your record book online and it's usable with different devices. So you could use your cell phone um, or um, you could use iPad or laptop or, or just your regular desktop computer to complete these record books, okay? And uh, it's gonna allow your leaders also to uh, monitor the work that you've done in your record books to help you stay in tr on track. And uh, so then you're not having to do your record book the night before you, know, you turn in your, your projects you know, for the show. Okay, so uh, another way that you can get your record book if you don't have one, especially right now because the suite is not functioning until February 1st, uh, if you didn't have a record book, you could always contact me and I would certainly, you know, get you a, a copy um, through email or you could contact your, your leader, of course. But another way that you can get it is you can actually go onto the state 4-H um, you know, website and download a copy for yourself, okay? So uh, one of the ways that you can um, find this website if you don't already know how to get there is you can search or Google uh, Hawaii 4-H and it will get you right to this page, okay? Uh, but once you're in or on the, the website, what you're gonna do is you're gonna see in the middle of the, of the website there, it's kind of like a black bar and what you're gonna do is you're going to, uh, you know, kind of go across and you can see it has different things, but you're looking for volunteers. And then you're gonna click on the down arrow under volunteers and you'll see that other options come up. So you're gonna click on forms. So you can see it's highlighted in the green there. And then once you click on forms, it'll take you to a new web page that looks just like this. And under forms, you'll see uh, record and project books. Okay. And then uh, you'll see a plus sign. Don't see that here, but you'll see a plus sign for, for record books. And, and um, you'll click on that and it will bring up um, these options for you. You know, junior, senior uh, record books, and then of course the senior portfolio, which we're, we're certainly not going to be talking about today, but um, there's some option of your record books, okay? Um, so yeah, so you'll see that you have the option to download uh, these record books in a PDF format or as a Word document. Uh, so, uh, and, and what's nice about it, um, you know, you can download these right to your computer so that you have them, you know, at home. Okay. I don't know what Z Suite uh, books are going to be like um, because that'll be something certainly new for me. So I'll be learning along with you guys this year. But um, I do know with these um, record books that I'm showing you here on the website, something to kind of be aware of if this is your first year in 4-H is when you download the PDF version of the book, when you type, the characters that you're typing out are going to be large and the more you type, they'll get smaller in size. Um, if you choose to uh, complete the record book using the Word document, you're going to find that the format changes uh, as you type, okay? So what might be contained on one page um, may end up be, you know, being on two pages when you're finished typing out what you're typing. So, so this is just something, um, you know, to be aware of, you know, you can adjust it as you need to. 
um, but you know don't don't panic or don't freak out when you see uh, that this happens okay we just want to make sure that you're aware of that okay uh, one thing I should mention too is if somebody gives you a record book you want to make sure that you have the most current one okay so as you look at this record book here you'll see at the bottom there's a red arrow and and then um, it's circled at the bottom it says record book revision 10-2020 that is the most current record book that we are using for our junior senior record books so if you get a record book with anything other than that um, please don't use it because it is way different than what we're going to be using this year okay so so make sure that if somebody gives you a record book, it's the most current. All right. Okay, so let's take a look at each page. Um, first, of course, is the, the cover page. It's pretty simple. You're going to write or type your name, your age as of December 31st, okay, of 2020, because that's our 4-H years, 2020, 2021. So we need to know how old you are as of December 31st. You're going to make sure that you put your leader's name, the number of years that you've been in 4-H, uh, years in this project, and then your grade. And then uh, you'll see at um, the bottom of the cover page, it asks for signatures. Um, the book that you'll turn in, uh, you will need to have your signature as well as your parents, leaders, and 4-H agent signatures. Uh, each person should look over the book to make sure that it has been completed thoroughly, though, before they sign it. Okay. The first page following the cover is the non-4-H project activities. And here you're going to list all of the activities that you complete outside of the 4-H project. Okay, such as uh, attending workshops, um, field trips, camps, contests, um, and you can add, you know, your 4-H community service projects, you know, that you do. So if you're doing any kind of cleanups or visitations, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, you can also uh, include things that you've done in school, church, sports, or community activities. All right. And, um, and on this page, you're going to see that it's going to ask you to um, basically you're going to check off if it was done um, as a leadership role, uh, community service, uh, public speaking activity, or promoting 4-H. So um, an example that you know we'll use for um, making sure you understand how to complete this page is let's take a look at what we're doing today. Today is a uh, record book training. So this would be a perfect one that you'll want to include on this page. Okay, so you list today's date and um, and then as far as the activity, of course, it's a record book training. All right, and then under knowledge, what did you learn? Well, if you look at the list above where it has head, you'll see that kind of about three quarters of the way down that list, it says keeping records. So you can, you know, put for knowledge in that cell, you can put keeping records. As far as application, uh, how can you use what you learned? You know, you'll start looking at what's listed above for, for heart, okay? And in this case, record book is a great form of communication. So I would, if it was me, I would list communicating. Okay. And then uh, you can see uh, what we have next is it says 4-H, yes or no. Of course, this is a 4-H um, activity or workshop that we're doing. So you would put a Y. If it was something um, that you did through school or from sports, that kind of thing, of course, you would put in. But in this case, it's, it's a Y. Uh, level. So uh, you can see in the instructions, L stands for club, C stands for county, S stands for state, and N is national. OK. 
okay? So this record book training that I'm doing, I am holding it for the county. Uh, so um, you can put a C there, okay? If you were doing an activity from your club, of course you would put L. Or if it's a statewide activity, then of course you're gonna use S or if it's something national, like you went to National Congress, then you would use N, okay? So again, in this case, this is a countywide um, training or workshop, so we would use C. And then for leadership, um, civic, uh, present or promote, okay? Uh, what you're gonna do here is you would check off what applies, okay? So uh, obviously you're not doing any leadership with this workshop. If you were leading it or helping me to lead it, you could check, you know, put a little check mark or a little X there. But in this case, I'm the one that's doing it. So you would leave that blank. Um, as far as civic gives back. So if you're doing like a community service, okay, so that doesn't apply. So we're gonna leave that blank. Um, pres uh, present. So if you're demonstrating something or, you know, educates, then you can go ahead and put a check mark there. Um, and in this case, to me, I see this as a presentation. Um, it's certainly not a presentation that you're giving, um, but it is educating you. So I would put an X there. That's what I would do. And then <clears throat> are you promoting 4-H to others? So in this case, we're not, so we would leave that blank. So um, that's just kind of one example that we can use. Uh, again, if you have any questions, you know, you can certainly uh, contact me or talk to your leader and see if they're able to, to help you out. So hopefully that makes sense, okay? So let's go ahead and move on. You can see that we have a blank page here with just a, a chart. So basically this is just uh, an additional page to have you guys continue on from this page, okay? So pretty simple. All right, so on page three, you'll see that there's two large squares and two small rectangles. What do you think that these are for? Well, what you're gonna do here, as you can see at the top, it says to provide two photos that best capture your growth in the project, okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to post two pictures here that does just that okay uh, sometimes what i've seen kids do is at the start of the 4-h year um, they'll put a, a picture there maybe if they have like a, a animal project they might start off with putting a picture of their animal when it was a baby and then right before they show it they have you know another picture showing how much it grew up or maybe if it's a plant, it might be in one picture showing you, um, showing how you were, you know, potting your seeds. And then the, um, the, the plant or crop or whatever it might be um, when your, you know, seed is germinated and got bigger and developed some fruit or, or flowers or whatever it might have been, okay? Two rectangles at the bottom, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use those to um, kind of put a little bit of information about what those pictures are about, okay? So again, pretty, pretty straightforward. All right, so moving on to page four, you can see with this at the top, it says 4-H project summary and learning experiences, uh, complete project books for each project you participate in this year. So basically, this is a freebie page. You don't need to do anything with this page at all because basically it's just letting you know that, that if you know, you're doing a project, you're gonna have a project book that you're gonna need to complete. So we can leave this blank. So moving on to page five, now we come to uh, where you're gonna be writing your 4-H story. 
This is one of the most important pages because it helps the readers to see all of the great impacts that were made in your project for the year. Okay. So really, you know, you want to make sure that you give some thought to each one of these bullets. Okay. And as you think about uh, what you're going to write, try to avoid making lists. Okay. Um, instead, what we want to see you do is we want you to um, write complete sentences and paragraphs, um, you know, to share about all of your experiences. Okay. So you're going to tell uh, about what were the most uh, important life skills that you learned as a result of your project work that you did. Uh, you're going to tell how 4-H encouraged you to do service within your club, your school, or community. You'll tell how 4-H helped develop your leadership skills for the year. And uh, you'll want to give an example of when you were a leader or when you did some leadership. You will tell about uh, two or three things that you learned from being in 4-H for the year. You'll tell uh, some things that you would like to do better or improve upon and what you consider to be your greatest success in 4-H. Of course, this is going to be something that you would do at the end of your 4-H year. Okay, So it's not something that you need to be worried about um, right now, but you do want to be aware of these things because these are things that you're going to be writing about later on. Okay. So uh, I think that they're pretty straightforward. Again, if you have any questions about how you will answer these questions, you know, feel free to just let us know so we can help you out. Okay. Um, and then lastly is page six, which is our rubric or our score sheet for our record book. Okay. And uh, this is something that, um, uh, you know, at the end of the 4-H year, you're going to be submitting your record books and they will be evalu uh, evaluated. And the judge is going to use a score sheet uh, to score how well you did. So it gives you an idea. You can look at this ahead of time and you can know what they're going to be scoring you on. Okay. So, um, you know, you want to make sure not to be filling this out yourself. The judges will... Um, fill it out when they evaluate you. So you want to keep it clean. Okay. And, um, and that's really all that, that there is um, with this uh, junior senior record book. One point that I do want to make is that even though these books are the same, they will be uh, evaluated based off of your age and your years in 4-H. Okay. So, you know, when you're a first year junior member, um, you know, they're not going to be, um, you know, as critical. They're going to want to, um, you know, they know that you're, you're kind of brand new to 4-H and, and there's a lot of things that you're going to be learning over the years. And so, you know, they'll, they'll critique um, the things that you've done and, and add some comments to help you improve. But as you get older and the more that you're in the 4-H program, they're going to expect a lot more from you, okay? So, so it's important that when you're filling out uh, like the story, for example, you know, they're gonna be looking for a lot of thought. They're gonna be looking um, at complete thoughts. And um, again, they're gonna evaluate it based off of, um, you know, you're not just there filling it out to have it be, you know, just filled out. You're actually putting some thought and, and um, letting, you know, again, the reader know the things that, that you have accomplished for the year. So anyways, uh, just some things to think about. But I wish you guys luck as you um, move forward with your, your projects this year. If you have any questions again at all, uh, this is how you can get a hold of me. Okay. And um, yeah, best wishes to your 4-H uh, year. Good luck. Thanks a lot.